Hey there, all you colorful creatives of the world. Today we are creating this awesome cat collage. The supplies are really simple. Check the description for an entire list. Once you have your reference photo, flip it over and begin coloring it all over with your graphite pencil. You want it to be thoroughly colored. And then we're gonna just tape our reference photo onto our thicker paper. I am using watercolor paper but you could definitely use cardstock, bristol board, mixed media paper, whatever you have that's a little bit thicker and more substantial. Then using a colored pencil, I'm gonna begin tracing all of the shadows, the highlights, those sorts of shapes, as well as the outline of my cap. Next, I'm grabbing my magazines. These are just things that I get in the mail that I maybe flip through a couple times and then never really pick up again. So I'm really glad that I found a use for them. I just started pulling things that my eye was drawn to. And I started to notice that I was pulling more yellows than anything. So I thought, well, let's go with yellows. And then I noticed that I was gravitating towards some purples as well, which yellow and purple are complementary colors so I was like great that'll be a great color scheme to go with for this project when we choose colors that complement each other it just helps really elevate our piece now this is where I want to caution you to learn from my mistakes you're gonna see me start blocking in my darks right away and if I could go back in time, I would not do that. That's definitely one way to do it, but I feel like it would have been so much easier if I would have locked in my entire form of my cat with my mid-tones. So that would be like a gray. If you think of a scale between white and black, your mid-tone would be gray. And then it would have been so much easier to go in and put in my darks and my lights. But I didn't do that. This is honestly the first larger collage that I've done. I had a lot of fun doing it, but I definitely learned some, some things along the way. So I hope you'll learn from my experience. And you'll see I'm just going to start attaching those pieces of magazine paper with school glue. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. At the end, we'll put some Mod Podge on top, which will help seal everything in place and make sure nothing's gonna fall off. But for right now, this is the easiest and cheapest method of attaching those magazine papers. What I'm doing here with the nose right now is I'm tracing the shape of the nose onto the paper that I wanna use to create that shape. It's a whole lot easier than me trying to just draw it and cut it out myself. So it'd be the same method that we did with tracing the whole shape of the cat. Now we're just doing it with the specific items. I wouldn't recommend doing this with every area of the cat. You definitely can if you want. It would just be a different look and it'd be a lot of tracing, honestly. But those specific shapes that we want to get the proportions and the sizing right on such as the eyes and the nose those things that are very distinguishable i wanted to go ahead and make sure that those are right the first time i didn't want to have to keep redoing them One thing I really want you to keep in mind though is that this whole process is extremely sped up. This collage took me way more than 10 minutes. So keep that in mind. Creating requires so much patience and that's okay. But just don't expect to come together in 10 minutes. Enjoy the process, even if it takes a little bit longer than you expected. Nobody said you had to do it all in one setting. You can always take a break from it and come back to it later. Using a colored pencil instead of just a regular pencil really helps you be able to 
see those lines of where you've gone on your page so that you're not feeling like you already traced around the whole shape and then lift up your paper and realize you did not. Especially if you're using a black and white reference, it's way more helpful. On those edges that I wanted to kind of give a fur effect, I just took my scissors and cut in in a jagged pattern along the edge to make it look like that furry edge. I really only used my scissors on shapes that were very distinct, such as the eyes and the nose and anywhere where I wanted a really clean edge, like on the tops of those ears. But for the most part, I just tore the papers. And I don't think there's any right or wrong way to collage. There's definitely things that make it easier. Um, there's different effects that you can achieve by either tearing or cutting your paper. But for this piece, I just want it to kind of have softer edges, much like a cat would with fur. And I felt like tearing the paper would be for one, a lot more enjoyable for me, but also would achieve that softer effect. If you'll notice up by one of the left ear and by the nose on either side is some of those flowers that came from the very first image that I gravitated towards on one of the magazines. And I really wanted to find a way to work them into the collage because really that's what caught my eye very first. It was a little bit tricky of finding out how I could incorporate them that didn't feel forced or out of place, but I like how it ended up. Those flowers there just kind of give the cat a really sweet look to it, at least in my opinion. Another thing that might be handy to have on hand, handy to have on hand, <laughs> is a wet rag. I noticed throughout the process I was getting some glue on my hand and then the magazine paper would stick to my hands, so it was really nice to kind of wipe my hands off from time to time. What you'll see me doing right here is I'm just lifting up my paper so that I can have the light shine from the back of it and see where at that that magazine paper is lining up with the shape that I'm wanting to transfer to it. I really wanted to make sure the shape that I was transferring was being transferred onto that gold part of the paper and not the white part. So if you're needing to make sure that things line up in the specific area of your magazine paper and your reference, hold it up to the light and you'll be able to see through it. The last thing I'm going to do to finish my little furry friend off is cut out some of these bright yellow whiskers to kind of pull in that eye color and really make those whiskers stand out. If you have any sort of a project that you hope to see from us in the future, something that maybe piques your interest or that you want to learn, feel free to comment down below and let us know. We love making art that you're passionate about. Make sure to trim up your edges if you have any paper that is hanging off the edges of your page. And then once you're all finished up, give your entire collage piece a nice coating of Mod Podge. It really helps seal everything into place and if you have any pieces that are kind of peeling up you can use it to tack those down and to keep anything from falling off or snagging and that's all thanks so much for creating with us we hope you'll join us again to create more memories and masterpieces don't forget to subscribe <laughs>